from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, October the 4th, 2021. Israel accused Iran today of an attempted attack against Israelis in Cyprus. Police in Cyprus said last night that they arrested a man last week reportedly for an attempted assassination of an Israeli businessman named Teddy Sagi over gambling debts. But Israeli leaders say that the incident was not a criminal one. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett Spokesman Matan Sadi said today, regarding some of the reports last night about the incident in Cyprus, I would like to clarify on behalf of the security establishment that this was an act of terror that was orchestrated by Iran against Israeli business people living in Cyprus, adding this wasn't a criminal incident and businessman Teddy Sagi wasn't the specific target of the attack. Sagi, by the way, was warned at the last minute about the attack and fled Cyprus safely. And Prime Minister Bennett told the Knesset today that agents from Israel's intelligence agency, the Mossad, went on a recent mission to find information about Ron Arad, a weapons systems officer in the Israeli Air Force, whose plane was shot down during a mission over Lebanon in October of 1986. Arad ejected from his plane, as did his pilot. The pilot was rescued by Israeli forces, but Arad was taken captive and declared missing in action. Bennett said of the Mossad mission, it was a complex, wide-scale operation. That's all that can be said right now. We made another effort on the path to understanding what happened to Ron, and Bennett promised to continue to act to return all our boys home, wherever they may be. Well, a correction now to a photo used in a story we reported to you about last week of the trial of Ermagard Ferkner, a former Nazi concentration camp secretary who skipped out on her first hearing in Itzhoe, Germany last week. A photo that was widely used in the media, including here on JBS, identifying Ferkner, who faces charges of complicity in the murder of more than 10,000 people at the camp, is in fact not her, but is a photo of 99-year-old Holocaust survivor Yehudit Sperling. Sperling survived the Stuthof camp where Ferkner worked, and her testimony is part of the case against Ferkner. We deeply apologize for the error. Ferkner, by the way, is in custody. Her hearing pushed back to October the 19th. Sperling lives in Tel Aviv. She was awarded the Life Savior's Cross by Lithuania for saving the life of a Jewish child during the Holocaust. Her lawyer, Oner Ojata, told the German paper Bild about the trial, these proceedings are of particular importance to my clients. It's not about revenge for them. Rather, they want the criminal responsibility of the many helpers and accomplices in the Shoah, the Holocaust, to be established. Professor David Julius has won the Nobel Prize in Medicine together with fellow American scientist Ardem Paputian for their work on receptors for temperature and touch. Julius, who grew up in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn, spoke of his Jewish family history in a piece published last year when he won the prestigious Kavli Prize in Neuroscience. Julius wrote he grew up in a seaside Brooklyn neighborhood that's been a landing pad for Eastern European immigrants like my grandparents, who fled Tsarist Russia and anti-Semitism in pursuit of a better life. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Monday, October the 4th. At 7 o'clock, it's the Wisdom of Dr. Ruth. At 7.30, a concert from Hazamir in Kfar Saba. At 8 o'clock, top Jewish leaders from Israel and the diaspora explore issues of anti-Semitism, post-COVID challenges, and more during the Israel Social Cohesion Summit that emphasizes the centrality of Israel and Zionism in shaping a shared identity for Jews worldwide. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Dr. Ruth Weiss on L'Chaim. At 10, Rabbi Mayer Lau speaks at the 92nd Street Y. 
And coming up next, Shahar Azani speaks with Kenneth Marcus, founder and chairman of the Louis D. Brandeis Center for Human Rights Under Law, who discusses a recent poll among college students with a strong sense of Jewish identity, indicating Jews feel unsafe on campus. And that's the JBS News Update for Monday, October the 4th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.